Well, hello there. Welcome back. Today I am doing a vlog on my studio room that I have turned, well, the room that I have turned into my recording studio. And um, if you are new here, I'll do a quick little recap. But first of all, hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you for joining today. On this channel, well, first of all, my name is Jennifer, and on this channel, we do makeup and beauty subscription unboxings, mystery bags, clothing hauls, and vlogs, usually of whatever it is I feel like sharing, shenanigans, or whatever. And today, I'm going to share with you the newly decorated studio room. So the quick recap is that I have this extra room in my house. It's pretty small. And it's kind of like a, maybe a den or like a studio, well, yeah, it's small, like for a studio. And the last owners had used this as a walk-in closet, so they had left the wardrobe behind. It was a really awesome, very nice uh, walk-in closet. And we ended up taking it down and using the stuff like kind of around the house and whatever. And then, uh, so what was left in this room, I decided to go ahead and try to transform it into, you know, uh, to make it usable for me in the studio room. Now, first of all, I wanted to paint the wardrobes white because I just, I like everything chic and white, but that didn't end up working out because I don't want to work that hard. I didn't want to sand it or paint it. I tried to, yeah, well, you'll see. Um, in the first, I'm going to switch it over to a couple of clips from the before, and then you will come back and see me here as the after. Yeah, if you are interested, I would love for you to stay and hang out. I love when new subscribers say hi to me. Totally makes my day because I just enjoy making the videos, and I love interacting with you guys. Um, it helps me keep my mind busy because <laughs> I'm still working from home and, you know, that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, let's switch over to the before pictures. You guys, this is day one of me re decorating this studio room and this is really just me having ideas like this is the beginning thought process or process um here's what the room kind of looks like now um so the ceiling has all of these, like, I, this used to be a music studio, I guess. Um, and then they turned it into a walk-in closet. And um, they left both. They left the ceiling stuff and the wardrobe stuff. So I thought I'll go ahead and leave this up here. Since it's a studio, it'll help, right? And then I thought that I will go ahead and put this adhesive stuff, this marble adhesive on these because I don't want to paint them. And then, yeah, then we'll start decorating. So this is just day one. And let's see, like here is the room. Like here's all my junk. And we just have a little day bed in here. So yeah, stay tuned. So I decided I'm gonna scrap this idea. I don't like it, it's too dark. I thought I could add some chalk paint to lighten it up. But then I'm looking at this and I'm thinking like, they are nice. I just, I mean, I like white. But I'm already gonna accent it with white things, so yeah so yeah yeah stay tuned okay here is the end of night one I ended up like I said I took off that sticky adhesive and here's what I've done so far um, yeah I'm still working on it I gotta put curtains up tomorrow but I don't know I got tired and it's like 1030 so I don't know what I'm gonna put on that board yet but yeah I mean the aesthetics I guess 
that what it's called? What? Why do I feel like I was talking about anesthetics? Like, surgery. <laughs> anyway, I'm tired, and yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this clothes. This is a Shein haul coming to you soon. So, yeah, it's already been recorded. I just gotta edit and stuff, so. We will finish this adventure tomorrow. Good night. Hi there. Welcome back to, we're gonna do the after. I don't know why I'm doing the accent, but we're gonna do the after. So let's go ahead and look at the room from here. Uh, oops, let me go out. You gotta go out and then you come back in. So here is kind of a glimpse of the room as a whole and I do also have a couple of do-it-yourself DIYs. This is from the the TJ Maxx haul if you haven't seen it I will link it down below here's this wall look it looks like I still need to put a light thingy there um, but here is the first part of this wardrobe that I brought over here in this corner so I have a I just have a nice cute little day bed in here this was one of my um, kids old beds so I just we just had this in here um, so this wardrobe I had told you guys I bought a tray or something to cover because this kind of had a shelf on top of it so it like has this hole it had a hole in it so I thought I would put this cute little tray on top it's very pretty at first i had a basket but it wasn't big enough and i'll show you the basket it was also in the tj maxx ross uh, marshall's burlington hall <laughs> and then i found this cute little dish at walmart for like two bucks for your rings i found this in a set of three at target um three dollars in the bullseye section this is from the dollar store i put this together this is a d why I DIY I don't know why I say it that way then my son had some of these little lights that he never ended up using so I put that there because when my mom sleeps over she likes to put her things here and she can't see so we have a little light at the end I'm going to show you how cool all the little lights look then I just have this extra basket this this shelf is still pretty empty just because um I don't know what to do with it yet then we have these guys here that I got from TJ Maxx. So, look how adorable those are. And um, I'm pretty pleased with how they came out. I did have a concern about this photo being silver and these ones gold. And then I'm doing all this rose gold and then I have black. And then I have, <laughs> like, yeah, talk about OCD. But I think I did pretty well. These were also from TJ Maxx and Ross, so I put that there in the corner. And of course we have the bed. <laughs> now in my haul I picked these, these um, pillow covers, pillowcases for like, I don't know, what was it you guys? Like $2.88 or something. They were in the clearance section. And so I just put those on. I had these pillows from big lots so this is how the bed part came out so yeah there's the little day bed then here's a this is a tray that I just kind of use when I record um, kind of pull it out I kind of want one of these baskets I'm gonna post it here in a corner so you could see um, this was the basket I originally had where that pink basket was that we just talked about. But you see how small it is? So it didn't work out. But I still love this basket and it was only like $3.99 so I wasn't going to return it. So instead I'm using it to kind of manage my subscription things. Then we'll come over here. Look at how pretty these curtains are. These are the ones... Uh, I got from Ross. They have like a rose gold stitch in them and they are so pretty. And um, of course we've got my 
my ring light here. Um, I use this instead of a microphone on my camera because I think that for me personally, I think it works better. It sounds nicer. So I have that. Um, then I have all of my chajas here because <laughs> I know you want to see that. Then we have this really pretty peach colored dress from my Target haul. I thought that it looked really good in this corner. Um, back here is just kind of, I think is just going to be like some empty shelving space. Like I just have things hidden back here that are, you know, parts of this wardrobe that I kind of hid behind my mannequin. So this mannequin I bought, um, on Macari for between like, I want to say 12, 15, maybe $20 a few years ago. This picture here I've had for a couple of years. I bought this off of Society6. They are a little bit pricey um, for this size. For the printout alone was like $50. And I have a second one upstairs with my vanity there um, where I actually get ready. Because like this is just a little studio area. It's not really... Um, for me to get ready in or anything so it's mostly just decor then um down here i have all this pretty little stuff i've got these hurricane glasses from the dollar store i got the stickers off of amazon the beads from michael's and these are brushes just from um subscription boxes and i did the same over here with this one I think the little stickers were only like $4 or $5.99 for a pack of like 100 and then um, the extra brushes. So a lot of this stuff I kind of did already had and just kind of repurposed them. So I have bought this picture a long time ago on Etsy and it was just a printout and then I sent it to Walgreens, had it printed out and put it on a Dollar Tree um, frame. And then I bought this cute little mirror. Look how cute it is. I want to show you how it lights up and how it lights down. Look at that. Fancy. So I bought that for I bought that for $12.99 at Ross. However, I did see this on Amazon for $24.99. So I'll do the best I can to link everything down below. Um, and it also comes, so I did put batteries in it, but it does have the, um, charger thing or the, um, USB port. Then I have this mirror. <laughs> Let's see, I'll put it this way. So I have this mirror here because when I'm recording from this angle, I can see myself here. And I really did not want to put that mirror over here because I thought it'd be weird with the bed. But I also needed it to be functional when I'm recording. I know I act like I'm a real YouTuber right now or something, huh? <laughs> but believe me, you guys, I, I am so thrilled whenever I get a new subscriber. This is just side note chit chat. I totally tell my whole household, I'm like, I gained another subscriber. And then when you guys say hi down below, I'm like, I gained another subscriber and I said hi. Like, I, I really do. I really am cheesy like that and I do totally just love it. So anyway, um, so yeah, that's this area. Then down here, I have this really pretty rug. I bought this off of Amazon a long time ago for whatever, you know, I don't know, sometimes I just buy stuff. And I found it digging through for some other things and I was like, oh my god, this will be perfect right there. And of course, like my props for my videos, because I'm so professional. Then on this side here, oh, I wanted to show you this. Whoops. So this right here, or actually... So this right here, this shelf, I turned it sideways. It was actually exactly like this shelf right here. And I was like, well, let me try and turn it sideways so I could use it as a desk. And look, because there was a gap between, there was a gap between here and here. And I, I was like, no, I don't like that. <laughs> so I turned it sideways and what do you know? It fit perfectly. 
fit like a glove. All right, then we have this top shelf. We do have a TV back there because um, this still is a guest room. Um, my my mom my mom stays over, and my um, stepdaughter stays over. Well, she's already an adult, and I, but I still want to call her that because she's so sweet and cute. Um, so they stay in here. So we have the TV. Then I just put my bags as prop so it look pretty. However, I love, my favorite handbags are from Guess and from Coach. And this is where I'm like, you know, not everybody balls the same. Like, we all ball in our own way. So for me, um, I love Coach and Guess. Those are, and Jessica Simpson. Her stuff's amazing. Like, she has such cute things. Like, like I know somebody is behind that. She has a ghost designer. I know it. But anyway, like, so, you know, so yeah, that's my, that's my thing. So we have the uh, deer print bag from Coach here. We have this cute bag here. <laughs> then I bought this from Ross for $8.99. And here's some more of those stickers um, from these Hurricane glasses. <laughs> and I just used masking tape on the back so... Um, they'll come off whenever I want to change the saying and then we'll come here is uh, Let's see so here. I bought these from Ross. I did end up getting some more hangers from for skirts Then um, what do we got here? So this is a Dollar Tree bin. I did buy this blanket from Ross no Burlington and it is an extra blanket, but I thought that, you know, it was nice for the props. This is a really cute, adorable bag from Target last year. It is from last season. But look how cute it is. And I thought it looked pretty right here with all of this stuff. And if you can see, I also put another light here. And we'll show that at the end. <laughs> And then, of course, we got this behind me. Paid uh, $9.99 for this and for that one at Burlington. Yes. Okay. So, here are the couple of cool do-it-yourselves DIYs. No, I always say it that way. DIYs. DIYs. <laughs> so, here is a set of books, you guys, that I probably spent like six dollars on so what these are of course these are three books from the dollar store the dollar tree sorry and i just flipped them inside out i painted them i tried to paint them to get like um you know the shades to go down i don't know if that's what you call it anyway all i did was flip them inside out, paint the spines. I printed this sketch. I just Googled the, I Googled sketch, like sketch fashion or sketch drawings and um, printed that out on my printer and I bedazzled it, I guess you could say. Then I bought the stickers also from the Dollar Tree. All of these stickers are from the Dollar Tree. These ones, these, these, these on the side all of it so you could totally make these like they look to me pretty darn good from the original i don't want to post the original though because i don't know about copyright stuff but um this was definitely you know i made my own <laughs> so i think it came out like a really pretty and it looks really good right here with all of the things then I also made this this you guys probably cost me like three dollars to make I just found this box for like a buck at okay maybe it was four dollars I got this at Walmart and it already had the bow on it but you could totally get this box at the Dollar Tree they have different sizes of empty boxes paint it black and put a bow probably cost you like three dollars to do it that way 
Then I just bought two bouquets from Walmart for, um, I think they were like $2.98. And they, they came with nine petal or nine, um, it was a bouquet of nine and I bought two. And then of course I just put the styrofoam. I did keep the leaves in on this one because I wanted it to be a little fuller. But I thought that was a good little do-it-yourself thing for you guys to know about. And what else? Oh, we have this really cute chair. Well, it's not really a cute chair. It's an old office chair my son used to use for his gaming chair. And he got a new, better one. So I just bought a, a cover a chair cover off of Amazon for like $7.99 because I was going to buy a whole new chair and I was like, why am I going to spend, you know, minimum like 60 bucks for a chair in here? Because like I said, it's not so much that it's a functioning room. It's more of just an extra studio room. So yeah, um, what else? Oh, I just wanted to share this mirror with you here. <laughs> And these little guys are what I got. So it was this one, this one, and that one that came in a pack from the bullseye section. And then I had this little mirror for a long time from Home Goods for $4.99. So yeah, so this is thy room. We'll get another. So yeah, this is the room. Let's go ahead and do the, so we'll go ahead and do the lights off thing because I want you guys to see how cool it came out. Like look at how cute that came out. That's so perfect for guests when they're sleeping over. They can put their cell phone there. They can put all of their little knickknacks and their rings up here. <laughs> Then, look at that. Then there's the light there for that one. And the light for the roses. <laughs> so yeah, here's what it looks like. Well, without the chair in the way. So here's what this side looks like with the lights, the little lights on. Oh, I forgot one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So here's kind of what that looks like with those little lights there on this side. And kind of what that looks like over here. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, thank you for thank you guys for joining me on this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed the tour and the funness of it and again um please like comment subscribe share follow me on instagram also follow me on tiktok my son and i my 11 year old and i are starting to do fun stuff on there because we just like to goof off so yeah and we will see you very soon in the new room bye guys thanks for joining <laughs>